this is the Bingai Bridge, Macquarie River here. So this is, we're on Brewan Station at the moment. The oldest station west of the Blue Mountains, uh, where a lot of blocks were given out in ballots in 1909. Uh, the Castle Ray comes into the Macquarie just up there a bit, as well as the Marfagai Creeks. And they all converge basically on Riverview that is down there and joins which is our country. Freewind's not our country. So this all goes under flood and it's an amazing amount of water when it does converge all those rivers. So anyway, let's just, um, we'll go on into Glenacre. Hello, I'm Claire Priestley. This is a heartbreaking day. Uh, yes, we're about to be evicted from Glenacre. Walgett, my brother and I. Um, this is the house that we've lived in with my family. We've had this farm for 40 years. Uh, my family's been here for 100 years. This was bought in 1969 by my father because of the amazing water access. As you can see down there, the Macquarie River is right there. Where the Castle Ray and the Martha Guy run into it, just above it. So it's an absolute uh, little, I don't know what you would call it, <laughs> full of water, amazing water access. Uh, you can see by the posters there what the National Australia Bank, we feel, has done to us. Essentially, I believe they've stole our life, the life that we knew and loved, the only life, the only life we knew as well. Then a few times they've told me to go and get mental help because they don't like what I say. <clears throat> and then they proudly sponsor Beyond Blue and Black Dog Institute. Um, I can tell you now, with my experience, there's no way Black Dog Institute or Beyond Blue will stop you from suiciding. It's not going to stop you from suiciding when you are about to lose everything that you lived for. Um, then you have the issues with the Code of Banking Practice, which is a complete promotion bullshit by the National Australia Bank, in which their dispute resolution section is a complete, um, it's just a lie. They will never ever investigate a complaint as they promise. Rather, they will put you straight into the court system where you will have absolutely very little chance of winning because you won't have the money to pay a lawyer to defend you. And these banks are experts at beating you. They have the armor, you don't. And we have been a victim of this. Cameron Klein was written to in a very in-depth letter in 2010 complaining about the NAB and how we were being treated and he ignored us and rather chose enforcement action and this is where we're at watching a farm come to a standstill that could have been highly profitable and we're being told to leave our own home and we'll be treated as trespassers <laughs>